Here we have a pre-owned 2022 Rivian R1T. This one is the launch edition. Comes in Rivian blue and then we have that black vegan leather interior. For the powertrain, we have four electric motors, one on each axle, made it with a direct drive transmission. That gets us 838 horsepower, 905 pound-feet of torque. And then this one has just a little over 32,000 miles. So as we come around to the front end here, we do get our LED daytime running lights, LED headlamps, LED fog lights, and just a nice, sophisticated, futuristic look here. Love the look of the R1Ts especially. Now this is in a lower stance because it's in sport mode. But down here we have 20 inch aluminum wheels. Love the brake calipers as well. I love how the yellow kind of goes with the accents and whatnot, especially in this blue. Now we get passive keyless entry, all four doors. Power window controls are here. Door handle, we get that Meridian elevation sound system. And here's our power driver seat, four-way power lumbar support. And love the design of the seat as well. It looks nice, feels nice. And the badging throughout, the trim, everything just looks very premium. But I have the seat up front adjusted for someone of my size being 6'3 with longer legs. So we're gonna go ahead and hop back here, check out this space. So I didn't close the door all the way, but I'll get it later. Pretty good space back here. I like how, even though my knees are just touching the back of the seat a little bit, the space in between the seat and the rear seat here is pretty good. And just my overall seating position is very, very nice. Three stage heated outboard seats. We have the quad zone climate control so you can adjust for either side back here. There's a view of the front from back here. Love the glass roof. Middle seat folds down. Bottle holders are here. Storage right in there. Top tethers for the seats, car seats, excuse me. And then we do have two USB-C charge ports down here too. And then a port in the back of either headrest there. And I like this kind of Alcantara-like headliner. Well, let's make our way towards the back. So there's a way that you can unlock the, the cargo area here from the actual screen. Once it is actually unlocked, excuse the wind, hit this button here, and this actually releases the latch. And there's your gear tunnel right in there. And you also have 12 volt accessibility here. I think there's one on each side, which is nice. So to the rear end here, LED tail lights, of course with the light bar, very nice at night. It just looks very, very futuristic again. Big shout out to Auto Collection of Murfreesboro for allowing me to review this truck today. I'll leave a link below in the description. Look underneath. Now to actually open this tailgate, all these buttons I kind of like, but they're kind of weird. But if you have one of these, it's pretty cool. So if you want to actually operate the tailgate, hit this button here. And then if you want to operate the tonneau cover, which is right in there, you can hold this. So pretty cool feature to have, I think. And then you just hold that to get it all the way out. And then the tire pressure, or the air pump, excuse me, is right there. And then you do have two 110 volt three prong plugins right in here, which is fantastic. And then to put this back up, Close it, and then you can open or close it either way. But I also like the, the light bars in here. Very, very nice, very bright. Now where this gear tunnel is open, I'm just gonna take a quick look from this side. So there's a 12 volt over there. There's actually a 110 on the right side. I expected it to just have two 12 volts, but it's awesome that so far we have three three-prong plugins 
within the vehicle. And just a quick look from this side. And then our front passenger seat, great adjustability with that four-way power lumbar support, just like the driver's side. And I will say the Meridian elevation sound system, pretty phenomenal, I tested it out. But you also have the speaker right in here if you wanna take that out, which also I'm assuming sounds pretty well, pretty good, excuse me. But I mean, just looking at this thing, I'd love to have one just for the features alone. But your charge port's right in there. You do have the option to DC fast charge as well. But let's go ahead and hop in the driver's seat. So I'm assuming this is a vegan wrapped steering wheel and it's very quiet. You're not getting any feedback from the interior for the sound of the horn, which is, I like that. It's weird, but I like it. Now to the screen here, this is the access and security page so I can unlock the gear tunnel, close the tonneau cover, operate the tailgate, open the charge port, open the hood, which I'll do that just so we can take a look in there. And then you can unlock, lock the control, or vehicle from here garage door transmitter and all of that. Now you do have, again, like I said earlier, quad zone climate control, so I can go in here and do that. But before we get into that, I'm gonna go through all the shortcuts down in here, which I love how they have this set up. So navigation systems here. For audio, you have your FM radio, Bluetooth, Spotify and all of that. And then this is how you save your presets and whatnot for the radio, which I like that setup too. And then here is where all the cool stuff is. So you can check out the elevation, trip meter, even the battery temperature, which I don't know another vehicle that does this, which is just great to see. And then you can even see how hot the motors are there, tire pressure monitors, compass. So pretty neat. And you can go through your drive modes here brake regen stability, ride stiffness, and then even the ride height. So very, very nice. And then you have your off-road settings here as well as your trailer settings there. And you can set up how efficient you are with the trailers. It'll kind of track that for you. So again, these settings are right in here. You can control the lights, front cameras there. And then your settings, you can go through your Bluetooth and all of that. And if you want to change your units, you can do that here driver plus settings and then again your access there now for the climate controls you do have the dual zone up here and then you can even go to the back here and check that out and you have those three-stage heated seats but for the front you do get three-stage heated cool front seats and then you have that heated steering wheel toggle right there for the driver's side so just a very intuitive system it's not as confusing to me as the tesla system i can get in one of those today and still can barely use them but here it's just nice even though it's on the screen it's still not too hard to operate now one of the cool things about this is with the vents here since you can't control them directly you use the screen here and you can control whether they're open closed and what direction they're going so really like that Backup cameras there, guidelines follow you. You just turn the steering wheel. You have that 360 view too. Now your cup holders are right in here. So just hit this, those come out. And then hit either one of these. Access to the center console cubby space. There are two USB-C charge ports down in the dark there. Hazards are up here if you ever need that. One more look at that glass roof. Look at the back seat. And right in here, vanity mirrors. Now, like in the Teslas, if you want to control the steering wheel and all of that, you control that from the settings in here. So 
go right in there, steering wheel, side mirrors, you can adjust all of that. Now back to the steering wheel. Those scroll bars can basically be used for the music and the just general settings of things when it's just in its normal state. And then that doesn't really do anything right now, but your windshield wipers, I love this. You just kind of toggle them through here. So auto, sprinkle, drizzle, shower, downpour. It's just, it's cool how they have the graphics that go with it just to, for the wipers there. And then same thing with the headlamps. All of that is right in there. And then blinkers. The blinker sound is pretty interesting to me. And then that front wiper fluid, you just hold that in. Now for the shifter, you just grab it, pull down for drive, pull up for reverse, kind of hold there for neutral, park is right there. And I'm assuming you get that adaptive cruise control by hitting this twice when you're on the actual road there. So we'll try and test that out on a test drive. But before we get to that, let's go ahead and look in the, the front here. So pretty good size space in here. And you can hide your charger in there. I like how you have that extra space underneath this. Windshield wiper fluid goes in there, I believe. Hopefully I did that right. There might be a button to close it, probably is. But finally, here's our key fob. 